Excellent. All about some sniper rifle, baby. Okay, please give us a bunch of wood, dude. Please, 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 please. Give us all your wood. That didn't quite come out the way I intended it to. Welcome back, everybody, to Imperial Galactic Survival and Reforged Eden. I'm an old guy gaming, and we just now hit body radiation 1-0. So we're going to take one of those to fix that, and that brings our radiation down to z What? Zero. I thought it said it just removed minus five radiation. Oh, right. That, I guess that would be if we had 5.0 radiation. Oh, beautiful. Okay, so that completely reset our radiation situation, and we have one more opportunity to do that the next time we get up to level 10, which is fantastic. Okay, I'm, I'm going to go. I went ahead and made a multi-tool here, too, just because we can. Um, you know, we have the stuff for it, so we might as well make it now. And then, um, the other thing we're going to need, of course, though, is the, the charge for it, which we have Promethean pellets back at the base for that. So let's, um, let's go here and go to tools. So we've, we've already learned the multi-tool. Do we have to learn the charge separately? I can't remember if that's the case. There's the fuel cell. Here, let's learn that too. Um, all right, that's... I thought I saw, you know, a fuel cell charge option in here. Let's look at this again. Oh, we can make it. Hmm. I thought that was showing as... No, 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 no. That's not what we're doing. I'm getting confused. This is what we need to make, a drill charge. Or not a drill charge, a multi-charge. And we... Oh, hey, thanks for showing up, buddy. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> oh, man, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? All right, well, that sucks that we died, but hey, you know what? I'm glad he showed up. We just have to figure out how we're going to get him now. <laughs> <laughs> Since he's going to be capping our stuff. Okay, here. Let's, let's see. Where are we at? Um, This way. Okay, that was fortuitous in a bad way. Or maybe it was bad luck in a good way. I don't know how to explain that. This guy is so fast. All right. Well, let's just see what we can do. We got to get to... Oh, I know what we're going to do. I know what we're going to do. Let's get on here. Come on, get in. We're going to try and, you know, get him away from our stuff long enough for us to go back and pick it up and equip the gun so we can actually kill this guy. Where did he go? Oh, he's right there. He does. He doesn't red. He doesn't register when we're on the hover bike. Uh, that's weird. Okay. So here, let's do this. Let's pop off right here. And pull him this way. I'm going to put this on our toolbar in defensive mode. We might just have to whittle him down the rest of the way. Or, like I said, just pull him far enough away to where he won't... be too near our stuff. Oh, see, we got to get next to our heater, too. Okay, here. Let's try this one more time. Hop off. Come get me, homie. Okay. Now, he should stay over there. Okay, let's get ready to vominos if uh, we can't <sighs> do this in time. Okay, just get these on the toolbar quickly. 
And which one is the one that's got ammo? This one. Okay, this should be good enough to kill him. Now let's just warm up a second. Let's turn this off because we got to conserve fuel. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's unfortunate that he killed us, but, you know, he basically nabbed us when I was trying to, uh, you know, switch to the other weapon. We might as well grab all this, too. Let's reload this guy. Okay, are we warm? Yep. Okay, let's go get this guy. Don't run. No running allowed. This is awesome that he showed up. We're so happy to see you, Mr. Tree Monster Guy. Beautiful. Okay, give us tons of wood. That's not tons of wood, but we'll take it. Oh, we got some wheat. You know what that means? Bread. Once we get a base going. Bread is a really good early game food. Gives you almost as much food as steak does and super easy to make in good quantities all right that was super fortuitous super duper pooper fortuitous um okay so let's see what uh, if we put a couple of those in there can we now make the charge what are we still oh we need a fuel cell for that okay well i guess we're not gonna be able to make that till we get back home so, uh, here's what we're going to do. Let's save four pieces of wood, and let's just make as much more ammo as we can out of this wood, and then let's head, start heading back home. Except for, like I said, I want to investigate to see if there's actual lava down there. So we'll do that first. And then uh, go from there. This doesn't have a charge in it, does it? It does not. Okay. That only happens if you find them. Okay, so I think we've made everything we want to make for now. Uh, we have 250 rounds, uh, plus both of our pulse rifles are full. Uh, we don't need this, so let's get rid of it. In fact, I'm not going to carry either one of those, because we can easily make another one if and when we need to. Okay, so we have no room to pick up anything else at the moment. Is there something we could ditch? We can't. We need 20 of these to make a, another biofuel, unfortunately. But I'm not getting rid of that because it's precious. Stone dust. We don't need to carry stone dust around. And for that matter, we don't even need to carry stone around because it's super easy to get. All right, anything else we can get rid of before we take off? Alien parts. It's probably going to be a while before we can do anything with that, so let's get rid of it. Phoenix Fern from some farm's fun that has some medical. Yeah, same thing. Well, I don't know. That's kind of rare. Maybe we better hang on to that. Uh, the teeth we can get later, I'm sure. Okay. I think we're good to go for this. So that gives us a couple of slots. It gives us four slots to, you know, well, we got to pick these guys up, though. So that really only gives us two slots. Okay, let's go. We have uh, in our hover bike... We have 10% fuel, so we're just going to really have to keep an eye on that uh, as we go along. Let's zoom in just a little bit. Actually, no, right about there. Okay, so um, I want to go investigate this lava thing. The only question I have, though, is are we going to have a really hard time getting our hover bike out of this canyon? I guess there's one way to find out, right? Let's go into first person here. Got to go around. This is the way to do it, you guys. This is the way to travel. We don't have to worry about expending energy. We can get away from stuff quickly. We can also flip upside down and get stuck easily. This, yeah, this hover bike's a little wonky, but it still totally beats walking. All right, we still got to go through here. Oh, this is a steep canyon. Yowzers. That is either lava or water. Um, I can't... It's so steep right here. I can't quite tell what's going on. Um, 
Hmm. Okay, here. You know what we're going to do? Let's see if we can get back out of here to a semi-level spot, if that's even possible. It's not wanting to go up the hill. Oh, there it goes. Just slowly. And we'll pop the drone out and go down in there and investigate. But that looks like water, not lava. Which, you know, that's being near water is not a bad thing either. Okay, let's cut the power on that. Let's put our our heater down. And just see if we can kind of use the drone to figure out what's going on down here. Because it looks like it's just water at the bottom of a very steep canyon. There's a little hogback right there. Okay. Um... Does a hover bike show up on the... Yeah, it does. Let's leave that there. Let's go down on foot. This is so steep right here. There's something in the water over there. I don't know what it is. Okay, it's it's warm. It's warm down here. It's oh, it's like too warm down here. Maybe that is considered lava. It doesn't look like lava. It looks like red water. But look at the radiation too. There's just like 15 rads down here. Oh man, that is not good. Okay, so yeah, that ain't gonna work. Uh-uh. Even though it's warm, uh, we can't we can't be in a place with that much radiation. Okay, well, at least we kind of know what's going on with that then. So yeah, places with water or lava, if that's what that indeed is, it did kind of sound like lava. You know, my idea of staying there because it's warm is not going to work if we're going to have 15 rats also at the same time, at least not with our current setup, because our suit can only handle uh, five rats. And, we, you know, we've already gotten uh, half halfway to a full body radiation now as it is just by going down there, which was unfortunate. All right, guys, well, I think what we'll do is we'll head back to camp and just kind of, you know, assess what, what our situation is and then go from there. So, uh, I'm going to probably cut the camera. Well, I'll leave the camera running, but if nothing crazy happens, um, I'll just meet you guys back at the camp and we'll go from there.
Okay, guys, we are back at the base. Uh, we're still at 9% fuel, so we're doing good there. <coughs> and, uh, yeah, we uh, killed a couple uh, scorpion antises. Ran into an, a couple of otugs, but I left them alone because they were levels 8 and 9. And uh, I want a little more ammo before we start dealing with those guys. In fact, I'd like to have a sniper rifle before we start dealing with those guys. And then, uh, as you saw in the little montage there, I did uh, some a uh, little bit of mining, and uh, we got uh, to capacity, and so uh, we have have to now come back. Now we're very very low on oxygen, so what I'm going to do is take these 202 canisters now, and then I'm going to take these two biofuels and put them in here. Grab those two. Let's uh, whoops. Let's take these O2s and we'll turn these little into little ones. And then, you know, now that we have a little bit more biofuel, I'll probably even make some more. Um, that will start making more fuel for us. So we're doing okay. I think we're doing okay. I'm not. I'm not feeling too terribly bad about things at the moment. Uh, so we're doing all right on food. We got our food topped off from killing those uh, guys. And what we'll do is we'll keep, you know, we'll keep this constructor here at the base, but we'll we'll carry the other one around with us so we have it out in the field for stuff that we might need. So we'll put all this stuff in here, all the sprouts. Pretty much everything that we don't need to be carrying with us out in the field. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to make at least one charge for our multi-tool. So let's look at that. That's going to be... Now we have to make a fuel cell, right? Let me just double check that, because normally you don't have to do that. Oh, do we have oh yeah, because it'll make the fuel cell for that. Okay, so let's just make one of those for the moment. Because see, that used up 10 of our Promethean pellets uh, to do that. But one fuel cell will go quite a long ways if, you know, if we're conservative with our, with our multi-tool. So we have four more wood logs. I think we should turn... Oh, uh, let's see. How are we doing on ammo? We got 208 rounds. Let's turn three of these into biofuels. And then um, this last one will turn into more ammunition. And, you know, right now I'm just focusing on projectile ammo. Uh, we'll, shotgun shells are more expensive for us to make because of the fact that they do you know, require uh, more nitrocellulose. In fact, do these... That, that, that requires 12 for 50. This requires 10 for 25. Yeah, so these are cheaper uh, overall. Uh, these require 5 for 25, so the exchange is pretty much the same. And if that's the case, you know, it, just looking at the nitrocellulose, not everything else, I know it's going to be cheaper because it only requires copper. But, I mean, iron is just not, not a big deal. And, you know, these, we're going to get more bang, see what I did there, uh, for our buck <laughs> by making those. So, all right, yeah, so we'll get this biofuel made up. Let's go ahead and load up our multi-tool here. And, yeah, that those 250 charges should last us quite some time until, you know, what? Is it that cold here? Oh, that's not good. Uh, oh, you know what? No, hold Stop, 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 stop. Hold on, hold on. I just thought of something. We've got to make a tent. Oh, man. I hope that's enough to, to make a tent. Suit constructor. We need 35 plant fibers. Are you kidding me? Really? Uh, all right. How many plant fibers can we make from this? Dog, I, I wish I would have thought of that, but okay, let's put this. No, no, no! Don't pick that up. Put that right there, and we'll stand right on top of it. Okay. Uh, how many plant fibers can we make from just the one log here? Let's see. We're gonna put at least one more of those in there for now. And let's just take that immediately. And let's take these. Uh, oh, did, did I already take those? I must have. Okay. Ah, beautiful. Okay. That gives us enough. Whew, that was scaring me. Okay, let's make a tent. 
So we now have a spawn point, and we can also sleep until morning, which I don't know how much that matters on this planet, but if it makes things just a tad warmer, then yeah, it'll make a difference. Let's make just a little bit more room over here for our, our tent. And now we, now we have a true camp. Because you can't have a camp without a tent, right? You gotta have a tent to have a real camp. No, not really. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, well, let's see if that's enough space for our tent. Yeah, it's minus 70, so it's basically two degrees colder than what our suit's maximum... No, three degrees colder, so yeah, not good, but, you know, what can you do, right? It kind of sucks that we got all that radiation down at the lava, but again, you know, what can you do? So I have an idea forming in in me brain. In me brain, I have an idea forming. Um, let's let's make one more biofuel, and then we'll use the rest of this for ammunition. Except for we don't have enough. All right. Well. Yeah, we're just shy. Why don't we make pistol rounds then? Be just because, you know, that's the problem with the shotgun too is it's not, you know, it's short range and I, I want to be able to reach out and touch baddies as much as we can. So we're going to turn the rest of the nitrocellulose into pistol rounds. And that gives us three things of biofuel. Let's immediately put one more into here and then we'll save the rest for... Yeah, we've got, we've got plenty of charges left in our deal, so we'll save the rest for the hover bike. Yeah, we just have to be really conservative and, you know, think about how we're using stuff because, you know, it's just the way it kind of is, right? Oh, man, this thing's big. Okay, so is it a situation of it's not high enough? Yeah, the cold's killing us on our food. We, we're probably going to succumb here. I mean, I don't know what else to do, right? Well, let's go up. And we'll go out a little more, too. Can we get this down before we die? Son of a... It's not gonna work. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, good. Now we can die. <laughs> now we can die. Oh, man. Can we uh, sleep till morning? Yep, we sure can. Look at that. So it is now morning, and we're still going to die. But at least we can die here in safety. Death in safety. That's what I'm talking about. If you're going to have to die, you might as well at least die safe, right? Okay. So, yeah, we got a few more rounds here. And uh, let's just bite the dust, and then we'll start over from there. That was in the nick of time, huh? <laughs> Getting that tent down. Holy Moses. Okay, so anyway, I was about to tell you guys what I am thinking. Here's here's what I'm thinking about the situation with the, the baits and the attacks that we're going to get. So what I think we're going to do is this is going to be, for, for some time, this is going to be like our main camp, okay? And we're going to keep all of our valuable stuff here and our tent, our respawn point, in this little cave. But what we're going to do is we're going to go, we're probably going to burrow way, way down underground uh, and also away from the cave. So, you know, we'll pick a direction, probably should be maybe along the mountain here. So we'll, we'll burrow way down underground, maybe to the other end of this mountain, we'll say. And then we're, that's where we're going to have our actual base. Now, I don't know if the base triggers the attacks when the core is set down or when it's powered on. I'm hoping that it's when, it, when it's powered, because then what we can do, set up the base, um... Put a, you know, the large constructor, the small constructor, the large constructor, all the other stuff that requires a base. 
turn it on, make stuff that we need really quick, and then turn it back off uh, to see if we can kind of minimize, you know, the, the attacks. How well that'll work, I'm not sure, but that's what we're going to try, and um, we'll see how it goes. Regardless of, you know, whatever we do in terms of the base, we're not going to have the base here. We, this is going this has to stay a safe place for us and you know we'll just put a bunch of portable constructors down to store stuff if we need to we'll keep our tent here and you know that way we always have a safe place to spawn back in in the event that the worst happens which it probably will because you know it's just kind of a fact death is a fact of life on this planet right that's all there is to it okay so we have a plan now we need to start working towards that plan in terms of the base, right? Because we can't really do much else until we get a base going, because we need the base to make the stuff that we need to make a ship. Uh, starting with a small vessel so we can go to the moon to get more resources in order to eventually, right, make a capital vessel. Uh, all right, so let me think. Let me think. We're, you know, nitrocellulose is still our biggest choke point at this moment in time. We're doing fine, you know, on ores and stuff like that. And so, yeah, I, I think maybe what we just need to do is go out and, and hunt for some more woodwalkers. I mean, that's really all we can do, I think, at this point. And, you know, hopefully we can also kill some critters and get some meat. Having the cold go beyond what our suit can handle is not working in our favor because it's going to, you know, it's just going to tank our food eventually. But there's nothing we can do about that. It is what it is, right? And, you know, we are low. We're, we're at the base of the mountain, so... Yeah, I just don't think there's much more we can do about it at this point. We need to stay relatively close to our camp here, too, because, you know, if we do die out in the open, um, you know, we can get back to our stuff as quickly as possible. So is there anything else I can do right now before we set out again? Probably nothing that I can think of, because we can't make any more ammunition. Um... Sniper rifle. That's what we should do. Okay, let's go to here. To weapons. And let's unlock the sniper. We can also do a grenade launcher. And, you know, there was this submachine gun here too. Light submachine gun used by USCH security personnel and covert operators with low penetrative power but high rate of fire. Can be changed between semi-auto and full auto with right mouse button. That does 48 damage. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, it, it shoots pistol around, so there, you know, that's... That's something in his favor. I mean, I think we'll eventually try that, but that might not be the best weapon for us for right now. We need long-range power weapons, such as a sniper rifle, for example. Okay, can we make the sniper? We can. Look at that. Beautiful. And we have 60 rounds, you know, that we looted. So, yeah, that's going to be great. That's going to be great. The only problem with the sniper rifle is that it's hard for us to see stuff at range, and by the time we see them, we're probably so close that they're already coming after us. But that's okay. We're still going to make use of this in situations that will allow us to do so. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling good overall. You know, on how we're doing, you guys, um, we are n by no means out of the woods yet. <laughs> we are just no, by no means out of the woods yet. But, you know, we're not in dire straits either. So let's just put it that way. Um, let me, let's look and see, do all of these weapons still have some ammo in them? Because if they don't, there's no reason for us to be carrying them around. If they do, we should expend it, you know, make use of it so that we can then drop these off. So let's check all the basic shotties and the basic assault rifles. We definitely want to keep, you know, we need to keep the pistol with us because of the ammo. We need to keep the two pulse rifles. Okay, so that's got 20 rounds. That's got 30 rounds. 20 rounds. Four rounds in the shoddy. Five rounds in that shoddy. Yeah, okay. Let's use these weapons. We'll keep the pulse rifles in reserve. We're just going to use them until they're out of ammo, and hopefully I will remember not to attempt to reload them. You know, it's kind of a just a natural uh, reaction whilst we're out and about.
Why don't we use this to give us a little bit of a body temperature boost? Okay, so that got us back to normal body temperature, so that'll buy us a little bit more time. All right, guys, um, I think we're ready to uh, to go on back out. Our most immediate goal is woodwalkers or this elusive uh, dead wood that's supposed to be on the mountains that I have yet to see. So we got a spawn point in a safe place. Yeah, I'm feeling good about stuff. Okay, let's go. I have two biofuels, so we have some biofuel for our, our ride here. And we're just going to kind of ride around and stay in this general area, not get too far away, and look for more woodwalkers. And, you know, any other prey that gives us meat, because, of course, we need food, too. I probably will not pick up more ore right now, because I think we're doing okay on ore. So let's just... Uh, yeah, drive around. It is so dark here, too. That's what happens when you're on a planet with no sun. So, yeah, we just need to come across a woodwalker. What is that that I dropped? It's probably stone or something. Steel plate. Oh, well, yeah, we'll pick it up for now. If we can take it back, we might as well, right? Okay, there's some prey. So the question is, can we get far enough away from them to cheese them with our sniper without them seeing us? Are they coming towards us? Yeah, they are, but here, let's back up a little more. Okay, what we'll do is we'll hop out here. Switch to this weapon. Okay, there's one more out there. Make sure nothing's coming out up behind us. He must have buggered off. Okay, here. Let's uh, warm up. Oh, no, he didn't bugger off. Okay. And then there's one that we left out there. We need to find him ASAP before he his body disappears. So he's basically going to be straight out that way. That might even be him right there. Okay, let's go. Yeah, there he is. Good. Okay, so that gives us food. So let's make some food here. The cold is not our friend. We didn't get any eggs that time, but that's okay. Meat's a little bit better anyway. Okay, finally the temperature's under uh, under our sh our suit's threshold. Uh, so we're okay on temperature now, too. Here, let's cut the power on that so we're not burning fuel unnecessarily. So, you know, the, the one good thing about this planet... Uh, or I should say about our situation is that, you know, food is relatively abundant. We just have to try and stay above the cold threshold uh, so that we can keep our food in our body. You know what I'm saying? Um, but at least it's available to us. So that's a good thing. That is a good thing. At some point, we're going to have to start considering doing some POIs because we really need to find a radiation boost uh, to deal with the radiation. Okay, so, um, I think we want to stay away from Xerax territory. So maybe we'll just kind of cruise around in through here. We don't want to go down into this canyon. But it does, it does kind of seem like it's the lower lands that we run into the woodwalkers. I don't know, you know, this looks like lowlands here, but dare we go that close to Xerox territory? I don't know. We'll have, to, we'll have to think about that. This could be like a lowlands area here. It 
So we will eat until we're, our food is all the way up. And then if we have a couple left over, that's great. But because it's, it spoils so fast, you know, it's like, might as well use it while you can. Okay, you have 16 rounds left. You have 21 rounds left. You have 20, 3, <coughs> excuse me, 4, and we'll reload you. So the sniper does 220 damage. Very nice. It has a range of 146 meters on this planet. So yeah, I'm glad we got this weapon. This is actually going to help us. Okay, food's maxed out, and we'll be able to take two more pieces with us. Beautiful. You feel very comfortable and satisfied. All right. We are well fed. Okay, well, let's pick up and continue our hunt for more woodwalkers. It's all about the woodwalkers, baby. So let's take a look. Um... Yeah, we're going to kind of just co go along through this area, I think. It's almost better in first person just because we can see a little better. I mean, a very little better. Whoops. Spotlight's not available. It was kind of over in, in this area that we saw those Otas, too. I don't think I want to mess with them. They're just too hard to kill. Take up too much of our ammo. He's a level 10 sandworm. Yeah, let's leave him be for now. <coughs> there appears to be plenty of ores around, so that's also a good thing. In fact, I don't even really need to keep these bookmarks anymore. We already know that's lava, too, so we can remove that bookmark, too. Okay, there's some more Scorpantians. Scorpantuses. Scorpion, Ant, and Mantis. I think we'll pass them by for now. Okay, we're going to have to stop and get our heater out. So let's get a little further away from the Scorpantises. And let's do it right here. Got the power on you. <gasps> Okay, we're back up to body temperature 77. All right, where are we at? Let's move kind of more to the south. Come on, woodwalkers. We need you, man. No, he's not a woodwalker. He's a wormwalker. There's one. Okay, cool. What level is he? Can we tell from here? He's Oh, shit, he's level 10. Of course he is. Okay, let's see if we can... These guys are going to be a problem, too. All right, since these guys will chase our, our thing, let's kind of draw them off. We need to basically go south from here to get to back to our woodwalker, pal. I mean, I suppose we could just kill these guys, too. We, we need we can use the meat, right? And the XP and all that. Okay, so let's just get back here. We'll say right about here. All right. Okay. 
let's deal with these guys and warm up in the process. Get some more food going. And then we're going to just go due south from here and hopefully we'll run back into our woodwalker buddy. Food's actually not too bad. You know, if we can just keep from getting cold, that's the key uh, to, to keeping our food going. Got to remember to keep turning that guy off too. How, how are we doing on fuel? We're at 8%. Okay. But we've got, you know, two more biofuels there. Oh, okay. Isn't this fun? <laughs> Quite the struggle, man. Quite the struggle. You know, I've um, I've done Project Eden, not with Reforge, but Project Eden starts a couple of different times on the dead planet. And, you know, that's, that's quite a struggle, too. But on the dead planet, you're fighting more against the elements than you are against creatures because there's nothing alive on the whole place anyway. So you don't have to worry about enemies at all. But, you know, you got cold and radiation and indirectly food and oxygen as a result of those things. And it is it's quite a quite a struggle, too, particularly because when I did do the, those two series, I was on the hardest settings A and I also did it as a permadeath. Um, so the goal was to get off of the dead planet with one life and you know we did actually pull it off a couple of times but it was hard it was very hard okay are you guys done just need one more piece of meat and some eggs and then we're in good shape speaking of which i haven't even eaten yet today i need to get something to eat in real life now i'm hungry <laughs> okay let's not we'll hang on to this but you know we don't want to be too terribly conservative with it because of the you know the parish time so Better to, to eat it and get some of the value of it without needing all of it than losing it completely, right? Okay, the parish time on this is 15, and that's 12. So the eggs actually last a little bit longer than the, than the other stuff. Okay, are you loaded? You've got nine rounds left. you got 21. Okay. Now, this is a level 10 woodwalker, so we definitely need to reach out and touch him with our sniper rifle as best as we can. I hope he's still in the area. He was... Should be around here somewhere. Oh, there he is right there. Okay, good. So let's get back to about here and see if we can spot him with our sniper from here. Just see him. Excellent. All about some sniper rifle, baby. Okay, please give us a bunch of wood, dude. Please, 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 please. Give us all your wood. That didn't quite come out the way I intended it to. All right, 11 pieces. That's not bad. And we got some um, space oranges and some spice and other stuff, too. Beautiful. Okay. All right, guys. Well, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the base and convert all this wood into nitrocellulose so we can make some more biofuel, some more ammo. And um, I might do a little more, you know, resource gathering off camera. So what the plan will be for the next episode is... We'll start uh, working towards the location of our actual base. And, you know, we'll just get as prepared for that as we can ahead of time, right? So we'll make all the components, we'll make the core, we'll make all the stuff we need to get started so that when we activate it, you know, we move as quickly as we can. And we'll just see, you know, if we can at least minimize the the base attack situation because it's not going to be easy it is going to be it's a lot harder than vanilla on reforged a lot harder can we hit that 
There we go. Okay. All right, guys. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.